and again, I don't want to condone fouling, but uh, when you get to the highest levels, physical intimidation is part of it. Rachenko lifting it, Miola got a piece, but not all. Russia scores the first goal on the threat of Rachenko that we talked about at the top. Became very important right there. We talked about Rachenko's speed. He actually had a disappointing first half. He appeared to have problems with the Astro because he's a player that likes to change speeds, but the ball moves so fast on Astro, I think it threw, threw off some of his deception, but this time it's a straight run forward. There he goes. He's already taking off into the space. Now the ball played through. He's not offside when the ball is played. It looks to be at least even with Lapper, and he actually, this is more or less a lob by Rachenko as wide open at the far post. We are set. Reyna can hit him. He'll be the man. Claudio Reyna pushing it for Lapper. Mike Lapper on the cross, far side. Lattice, he scores! Lattice! Huh. Boy, that feels good. For this crowd, for Alexi Lalas, not for Hopoff, but he had no chance. That was a thing of beauty, the entire attack, starting with the free kick when Reyna worked the ball wide out to Lapper. And look at Lalas. Hey, he slam dunks this. Here's Reyna. He fakes the shot, slides the ball up out to Lapper, who I said before was wide open at the back post. Lapper now bends a beautiful ball all the way to the back post. Look at Lalas get up and just pound the ball down into the net. And he's rewarded this tremendous crowd here in Seattle with the tying goal. There's Reyna's ball splitting the Russian defense wide. Lapper takes a little bit of time, finds Lalas with a nice bending ball. And Lalas got up so high above the entire Russian defense and then put a great deal of force behind the header to blast it down into the